Howdy, I'm Travis Heim. We are at the beautiful Heim Barbecue on the River Smokehouse, and I'm going to show you how to properly slice a brisket. So now, hopefully at this point, you have a perfectly smoked brisket. Whether you cooked it yourself or bought it from us, a lot easier to do it that way. Now, you have to slice it correctly. If you do this wrong, even after all this time, uh, you can still really screw it up. So what we're going to show you is the proper technique in slicing it and serving it. So, the first thing we need to do is unwrap our brisket. We've wrapped this one in butcher paper. So all I need to do here is just roll this bad boy out. And then we will see if it's any good. Oh, look at that bad boy. Alright, look at that bark on there. This is going to be a nice one. Super soft, super tender. All right, throw it down here. Get our paper out of the way. All right, off to a good start. So you may be asking yourself, why do I need to watch a video on slicing a brisket? All I have to do is just slice it this way, right? Wrong. Slicing a brisket is very important because you have two muscles the lean end and the fatty end that run the opposite way. Yeah. <laughs> and so we want to slice against the grain when we're slicing our brisket. Because if we slice with the grain, we're going to have really long strands of meat. It's going to be chewy and not any good after you've already spent 14 hours, 16 hours cooking this thing. So, step one, we want to slice it right in the middle, kind of where the fatty end ends. And so you can use sort of this line right here as a key. What I'm going to do is slice right here in the middle. Okay. Do it. All right. Let's see Ooh. what we got here. Nice. Look Smells amazing. Oh yeah. This bad boy is looking really good. So you can see we've basically cut it into our lean end and then we have our fatty end. So again, this hooks together like this. So, on our lean in, we want to slice it this way, right? The difference is, on our fatty end, wrong. We want to turn it, and then we'll slice this way. And so I'll put my first slice in here, so you can, everybody can see the goodness. This is the best piece of your brisket right here, by the way. You do like a Texas style burn in, slice this oh yeah look at that try that out oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah delicious so what we should be looking at here you got the top of the fatty in you got the bottom part of that lean in that's still going in a little bit of a fat cap but that's so soft and buttery it's just rendered nice you don't want to see a ton of juice coming out of this because that means you've sliced into it too hot so we really ideally want to slice this at about 140 degrees if possible. So again, I'm turning this fatty in. I'm going to do a little bit thicker slices on the fatty end. So again, take that. Show you guys kind of what we're working with here. Boom. Perfectly closer. Boom. Perfectly cooked. Slice of fatty brisket right there. You can see the fattiness in between those two meats, that little part of the, the decal, that's gone. It's almost completely rendered out. This fat right here is just so buttery soft, it's delicious. Um, so you can see, this is what a fatty slice should look like. If you're serving it for a party and a ton, you can take this slice and then maybe cut it in half, something like that. But again, that's what we wanna do. So let's try to jinga this back together, right? So again, this is my brisket, this is how I started. I sliced my fatty in the opposite way. So now I'm gonna take the lean in and I'm gonna slice it just as it is because I wanna go against the grain. And if you can see, the grain kind of runs a little bit this way, um, sort of like that. So we wanna slice it like so. So I'll take this. I'm gonna do a little bit smaller slices on the lean in just because there's not as much marbling so we can get a better look at what we're dealing with here. So this is gonna be nice and good. So 
So we can see here, super tender, just like fall apart tender. There's not as much marbling in the lean in. We still have a good fat cap here that's nice and rendered. That bark is perfect. Um, but this should really just be with just like the slightest tug, it falls apart. If you have it to where it's too tender, it's just gonna crumble on you and you don't want that. So again, on here on the lean in, slice it like so. Perfect. A delicious lean slice of brisket with a beautiful fat cap, ton of pepper. That's awesome. So, you've learned how to slice a brisket. Don't screw it up.